Ireland drafts urgent crypto regulations ahead of EU AML legislation. Ireland. MICA. The EU's AML CFT Act is set to launch in December. Last updated. October 17, 2024, at 11.00 GMT plus 3. Author. Ruhalamin Hakanas. Author. Ruhalamin Hakanas. About author. Ruhalamin Hakanas is a contributing crypto writer for Crypto News. He is a crypto and finance journalist with over four years of experience. Ruhalamin has been featured in several high-profile crypto. Author profile. Share. Copied. Last updated. October 17, 2024, at 11.00 GMT plus 3. Why trust Cryptonews? With over a decade of crypto coverage, Cryptonews delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Cryptonews a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Cryptonews. Ireland is moving to develop new cryptocurrency regulations in anticipation of the European Union's forthcoming anti-money laundering, AML, and countering the financing of terrorism, CFT, legislation. Finance Minister Jack Chambers informed the Cabinet about the need for urgent updates to crypto laws before the EU's regulations take effect on December 30th, according to a report by the Irish Examiner on October 16th. Specifics of the new legislation remain undisclosed and it is unclear when the updated regulations might be implemented. EU's AML law set to launch in December. The EU's AML-CFT Act, set to launch in December, will significantly increase the powers of financial intelligence units, including their authority to suspend suspicious transactions. The legislation introduces stricter reporting requirements for cryptocurrency exchanges and places a €10,000, $10,850, limit on cash payments. It also enforces enhanced monitoring of large transactions, with additional reporting mandates for high-value activities. The framework aims to mitigate risks in areas like crypto assets and crowdfunding, complementing other regulations such as the Markets in Crypto Assets, MICA Regulation. Derville Rowland, the Central Bank of Ireland's Deputy Governor, emphasized the country's commitment to innovation in the financial sector under MICA in a statement last month. She highlighted that robust crypto regulations are crucial for Europe to lead in technology adaptation and adoption. The MICA regulations, distinct from the AML-CFT Act, have been in effect since June 2023. The Central Bank of Ireland emphasized the importance of safeguarding its financial system for misuse for money laundering or terrorist activities, especially given Ireland's position as a small, open economy with a thriving financial services sector. As of July, the central bank had authorized 15 virtual asset service providers, including Gemini, Ripple, PaySafe, MoonPay, and Coinbase. Coinbase also committed to removing non-compliant stablecoins from its European platform in line with regulatory requirements. Crypto firms prepare for MICA. MICA, the Markets in Crypto Assets Framework, is a comprehensive regulatory framework established by the European Union to create consistency in crypto regulation among its member states. It was approved by the European Parliament in April 2023, and its rules are being implemented in stages. As part of the MICA framework, stablecoins issued within the region are subject to increased regulatory requirements. Various provisions, including those for stablecoins, are being phased in gradually, with full compliance expected by the end of this year. Starting from June 30th, stablecoin issuers were required to comply with specific MICA requirements. Circle, the issuer of USDC, became the first global stablecoin firm to achieve compliance with MICA on July 1st. Despite the excitement around MICA, some industry players have expressed concerns. Tether CEO Paolo Arduino criticized MICA's complexity and potential risks following a delisting announcement of USDT from Bitstamp suggesting it could complicate operations for stablecoin issuers. Binance has also adjusted its approach, limiting access to unauthorized stablecoins in Europe, though not delisting them entirely. Furthermore, implementing the MICA regulatory framework has presented challenges for blockchain companies and decentralized finance. DeFi. Protocols. Follow us on Google News.